It's not easy being me we'll Wash your face and brush your hair we'll Nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry hardly believe it myself. Me and the worm. <clears throat> I mean, me and the perfect potato. <laughs> Playing air guitar and cello together. <laughs> Strange times indeed. <clears throat> the whole <sighs> point of it being an air cello, Peter, is that it doesn't weigh very much. Oh, right. See you later, snooty gator. V is for book. All you have to do is a read a book. Ralph says we have to keep one step ahead of the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means some new tactics, probably involving slime. Yes, what is it, Worm? Oh, nothing. Oh, what do you want, Worm? How do you know I want something? Because you didn't tell me not to call you Worm. Oh, yes. Well... Get on with it, then. Bang and me are having a strategy meeting. Can I borrow your big blue bat books, please, please? Yes. I'll be forever grateful and do anything for you. I said yes already. Oh, well then. Could you just forget the bit where I said I'd be forever grateful and do anything for you? Already forgotten, Worm. Help yourself. Ooh, goodies! These are my most favourite books right now. Well, that's good, because they're not my most favourite right now. Well, sometimes you've got to move on, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. C is for chores. When I'm king, only parents will have to do chores. Ah, there you are. Can you believe I'm on odd sock duty again? Mum says my chores aren't finished till the odd socks are odd no more. Yeah, I didn't get it first time round either. She was trying to be funny, apparently. Grown-ups say the strangest things. Oi, bogey brain! Margaret and I are still social distancing, by the way. I've never been sure why Margaret's so obsessed with me. Get lost, turnip toes. Margaret does have some good insults, though. I haven't got time to talk about Henry. He's so boring. Henry's such a show-off. Go play in your own sandpit, Henry. Oh, you haven't got one. He's a horrid, smelly boy. Get lost, la la lungs. It's all your fault, Henry. He's a horrid, smelly boy. You're welcome, by the way. There is something to be said for social distancing. D is for... Detention, Henry. And when you consider that most of this should be over here, 
And most of that should be over there, then... <laughs> Henry, are you sleeping? Uh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. I mean, no, Miss Battleaxe. I mean... Three bags full, Miss Battleaxe? Yes, Miss Battleaxe. Yes, Miss Battleaxe. What, Henry? Yes, Miss Battleaxe. Three bags full, Miss Battleaxe. Detention, Henry. No! E is for Eureka! A genius needs time to think. Eureka! That's it! What's it, Henry? Good work! There should be an app for it! Don't stop crying! Oh, uh, right. There. Now he won't be able to come out without me knowing about it. Sorry, Fang. I need this grape. Hey? We wash everything and then they'll all smell the same. That's what? That's it. He's going forwards, so we'll go backwards. I'll give it all away! Uh, uh, hello. Uh, this is the, uh, the Prime Minister. F is for friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to let loose the snot bags. You should see those snot bags, Mr Kill. We made at least a hundred of them. Who are you talking to, Henry? No one. Yes, you are. I was talking to Fang. Fang's asleep. I think you were talking to Mr Kill. No, I wasn't. There's nothing wrong with talking to an imaginary friend, Henry. Mr Kill's not imaginary. He's real. Well, a real toy. Ha <laughs> I knew what you meant, Henry. But I still wasn't talking to him. Sure you weren't, Henry. Sorry about that, Mr Kill. Now then, where were we? G is for... Gross Glass Zero! That shows the best! with a solution. For what? Homework. Cool. How not to do it. No, Henry. How to do it. How to do more to be precise. Who would want to do more homework? I don't know. Well, me for a start. Hi, Henry. Aerobic Al. Need I say more? Ooh, uh, hello, Henry. I think... Hey, Andrew. Cool. What's that? 
He's coming up with a way to do more homework. Can you believe it? Ooh, that sounds like a good thing. Uh, is it a good thing? Oh, I don't really know. Well, yeah, it's a good thing if you want to do more homework. I can't see it myself. There's two of you. Yeah, you see, if there were two of me, then I reckon I could do twice as much homework. Cool. And if there were two of you, Henry, you could do twice as much detention. Yeah, I could be twice as horrid too. I can't imagine that, Henry. Or maybe I can. I is for imagination. Three, two, one, blaster! We could get chased by chickens. Man eating chickens. Where is your homework? The aliens ate it, Miss. See that effect. See that effect. I will see you, Vincible! Is I can roar, yes, I can roar. Cause I'm a dinosaur, a dinosaur roar. The aliens have taken over Margaret's body and they're going to take over the world! A dinosaur roar. <laughs> J is for jumpers. Just put an extra jumper on, Henry. So, if I said to you, what's the silliest thing you've seen this week, what would it be? Would it be the dog that wheezed chasing his tail? Morning, Henry. Would it be the worm looking for a worm? Nope, it would be me, wearing one of great old Greta's jumpers. Look at this. I feel like a tea cosy. Or a woolly hat. Or an egg warmer. What's an egg warmer? You know, one of those little woolly things that you put on top of your boiled egg to stop it getting cold. Right. Or an egg warmer. No! K is for... King! All rise for His Majesty King Henry the Horrible! You are such a slug snot, Henry! You won't even hurry up for your own coronation! It rained, Margaret. I pronounce you King and Queen. Gentlemen, I present to you Queen Margaret the Magnificent <laughs> and King Henry the Horrible. <laughs> sit down. I'm king. I really am king. Woohoo! I'm a real king. Please, miss, I need the loo. And when the axis of the sun moves from point A to point B, then we must consider whether point C also moves. Yes, Al? Please, miss, I need the loo. Off you go, Al. Don't be too long, Al, otherwise point D might be in a different place too. Uh. Right, Miss Bedlex. And when you consider that point D might be in a different place, and I'll let you into a little secret, it will be in a different place by the time Al gets back. Please, Miss, can I go to the toilet? Er, uh, yes, you may, Graham, but don't be too long because. Point D might be in a different place, Miss Battleax. That's right, Graham. Well, at least someone's paying attention. Please, Miss, if I go to the toilets now, I might get back before Point E has disappeared too. Very good, Brian. Off you go then. Yes, 
please, miss. We need to go to the little boy's room. You too, Bert? I don't know. Off you go and hurry up. Go and be quick about it. You too, Nicola. Oh, right, Miss Patlax. Of course. Oh, don't forget about me. Oh, Linda. Vamos, won't you? Right. Where was I? Yes, Ralph. Uh, can I? Yes. Go now. So, Henry. Uh, yes, Miss Butlax. You are the only one who hasn't asked to leave the room. Uh, yes, Miss Butlax. Which means that you must be planning something else even more horrid than simply planning to go to the toilet and not coming back before the end of the lesson. Uh, yes, Miss Battleax. I mean, no, Miss Battleax. I mean, no, I don't know what I mean, Miss Battleax. Well, that's the problem right there, then, isn't it? You just don't know what you mean. Uh, yes, Miss Battleax. I think. Detention, Henry. No! <laughs> M is for mobile. Aren't mobile phones wonderful? Anyways, I reckon we have to decide one way or the other. I said a rose by any name, but she said it was the best day ever and that she would call me, but then she left me hanging on the telephone and that was fun, I can tell you. Yeah, a be on Houston. Well, I said Sunday girl, because she might have been a pretty baby, but she was never what you might call a tonic, was she? Must have been dreaming, I reckon. N is for... N-O spells no. Well, you know what I'm going to say to that, don't you? No TV, no computer. For a week. A month. A year. No! Oops. Oops, indeed, Henry. No! No! Pick up, eat up, and then tidy up. Now! No! Homework, Henry. No! That outfit really suits you, you know. No! An octuple detention is eight times as long as the average detention. How was detention? Oh, you know. It, it was, was detention. detention. It's not that bad. Oh? Well, I mean, it's pretty scary and you have to be pretty tough to get through it. Oh, oh yes. A friend of my second cousin twice removed went to detention and never came back. Really? Teachers can be so weird. Sometimes I don't even know why I'm getting detention. I'll never figure out teachers as long as I live. Hang on, don't you want to be a teacher when you grow up? Yeah, that means that all the kids I'm teaching won't be able to figure me out. <laughs> yeah, you'll be Aerobic Owl, Man of Mystery. Hey, that's Mr. Sir Aerobic Owl to you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you worried lot. You just laughed. Oh, I did. did. Don't be funny with me. I know it was you, Henry. Me, sir? Yes, you. So that will be another detention, if you don't mind. But you've already given me three this week. Who's counting? Well, I am, sir. Well, you can add another one for being so cheeky. That really wasn't fair. I reckon soon you're going to be spending more time in detention than anywhere else. Yep. Still, at least I won't have to listen to whether it's over here or over there. Oh. Detention, Henry! No! P is for potato. Henry, I've been really thinking. What if our names were different? Once I had a dream. There was this potato, and it was called Peter. No! Actually, maybe being called potato is better than being called worm. 
But I wasn't calling you Potato, or Worm for that matter. Maybe today we could try with you calling me Potato instead of Worm. Alright, if you want me to. That way we can see how it goes for, let's say, 24 hours. And if it doesn't work, then we could go back to Worm. Okay. But it has to work for both of us. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable about it. I'm sure I won't, either way. Deal? Deal. Now, I've got things to do and people to see. What and who? And why are you wearing that hat? Have you forgotten, Lord High Majesty, that it's the annual meeting of the Purple Hang Gang in a circle? No, I hadn't forgotten. Of course I hadn't forgotten. Um, remind me what we're going to be talking about? It's top secret. You can only find out when you're in the meeting. Oh, right. Did we do all of these last year? No. We introduced it after the Battle of the Beetle Bonces to make sure we were never caught on the hop again. Oh, right. And um, who's coming again? Top secret. You can only find out when you're in the meeting. Right. Well, you better get on and make sure it happens then. Your wish is my command, Lord High Majesty. Bye. Haven't you forgotten something, Henry? What? Oh, yes. Bye, Potato. Mm, I think Peter Potato has more of a ring to it, don't you? All right, then. Bye, Peter Potato. Bye. Little brothers can be hard work, can't they? for questions. What's going on? Why me? And what's that? Which should I go for, Andrew? A fizzy gumball or a munchy moon blaster? Oh, uh, Henry, a fizzy gumball or a munchy moon blaster? Which one should you go for? I reckon I'm going to go for one of each. Thanks, Andrew. Oh, I'm not sure about that, Henry. Am I? Or aren't I? I don't think actually there was a tea girl on the film crew of the back of Beyond the Beyond. It's a figure of speech, Brian. Is it? I'm not sure it's listed in here. Oh, I'm just making the point, Brian, that it could just as well have been a tea girl as a tea boy. Yeah, Margaret. But I don't think it was. Oh, what's the point? The whole point of the tea boy's cut is to show you that even the tea boy... Or tea girl. Anyway, the whole point, girl or boy, is that they have a creative input into the film too. What's that got to do with making tea? I don't know. Got a new tea girl. Yeah, tea girl. Anyhow, as I was saying, the whole point of the tea boy's cut... Or tea girl, young Master Ralph. Oh, yes, sir. Or tea girl. Got to keep them on their toes. R is for... Rules! Article 22, Section 10, Clause 3, Subsection, Open Brackets, Little A, Close Brackets. You what? I just want to make sure that old Bogey Brain can never ever be a member of the Purple Hand Gang, of course. That's all. It's not quite as easy as all that. Why not? Well, because although Article 12, Section 4, Clause 2.1 says no girls allowed... Yes, that's how it should be. Article 49 says that in accordance with Article 50, anyone who meets the Purple Hand Gang criteria can join the Purple Hand Gang with immediate effect. And? And that means if Moody Margaret did want to apply to be a member, she could. Well, yes, she can apply, but that doesn't mean she can get in, can she? Well... Oh, come on, Worm. I mean, Deputy Undersecretary or whatever it is you're calling yourself at the moment. Deputy Undersecretary will do, for now. I thought we'd agreed that you couldn't be a member of two clubs at the same time. We did, Lord High Majesty. With some exceptions, of course. Like what? Like when a member is occupying a key administrative role across two clubs. What's that supposed to mean? It means like when I do all the dirty work for you, Henry, and you get to enjoy all the glory and fun which goes with being Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang. Well then, that's OK, isn't it? <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
S is for spelling. How do you spell homework, Henry? Just one more clue to go, then I've done it. Done what? Finish the I'm a lady crossword. I've never managed that before. What's the clue? A young person with exceptional qualities or abilities. Peter? Hmm, it's seven letters. Otherwise it could have been Peter. Or Henry. What? It could have been Henry. Yes, I suppose. It's prodigy. What is? The answer to your crossword clue. Henry's right, Mum. A young person with exceptional qualities or abilities is a prodigy. Oh, uh, thank you, Henry. You're welcome. And how did I know that, Peter? I don't know, Henry. How did you know that? Because I eat a lot of pizza. Huh? How so, Henry? Well, apparently the combination of cheese and onion and all the other stuff in the eat this and you too can be a child prodigy pizza means that kids who eat more than one takeaway pizza a week are more likely to be child prodigies. Really? I never knew that. How do you know that, Henry? Oh, I read it somewhere. Oh, then it must be true. Looking for this, Mum? Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah! I can't see an eat this and you too can be a child prodigy pizza anywhere. It's actually this one. The Triple Treats Try This and You'll Never Eat Again pizza? <laughs> yes, they had to change the name because they kept running out of the other ones. So only those in the know can order it now. Oh, right. Well, we'd better have a couple of those for lunch. Actually, I quite fancy one too. Dad, do you want one? I'll have what you're having. Oh, thank you, Henry. Where are you two off to? To practice. All right then, pizza's in half an hour. <laughs> T is for toys. I need toys. I am toys. Look, the Happy Haggler's Guide to Haggling. Come on, let's do a bit of haggling. I am not haggling for my own stuff. All right then, suit yourself. I'll find another customer. <sighs> You're such a bogey brain. Come and look at my sale table. Everything you could ever want, half price. Yeah, Margaret. So you'll give it to her for half price, but you won't give it to me for half price. I will if you haggle. Fine, I'll haggle. That's more like it. Let's see. Decide if haggling is the right thing to do. Well, it's clearly not, because that stuff's all mine already. Oh, he's fallen at the first hurdle. This isn't going to turn out well, Henry. See if you can find out what the locals would pay for it. There aren't any other locals around, so looks like that would be nothing. That's where you're wrong, Henry. My dad says he'd pay me ten million for what I've got, and my mum says it's priceless. <sighs> Figure out what the items are worth to you. Well, that's obvious. The question is, is all this worth three million pounds and fifty-two pence? No, because it's all mine. Keep going, Henry. This is going well. Try and figure out what the seller's lowest price could be. Well, that's easy. You just offered Susan everything at half price, so that's... Um, 1.5 million 26 pence. Deal? No, no deal. Curb your enthusiasm. Well, I reckon you've done that all right. I'm not even sure you want all this stuff back. That's the point! Yes, I do! Impress the seller with how much you know about the things you are trying to buy. Well, I know all about all that stuff because it's all mine! There's one more, Henry. And finally, ask someone else to haggle on your behalf. Well, you know what I'm going to say to that, don't you? No! You is for upchuck. Oh no! Yuck!
The car is weaving, your stomach's heaving. You try not to show it, but before you know it, your stomach's churning, your throat is burning. Mom, I'm gonna throw up. Mom, he's gonna puke. Mom, I'm gonna up chop. Mom, he's gonna spew. Mom, I'm gonna vomit. Mom, he's gonna. Ew, it's all over my shoes. For victory! Horrid Henry is the best! Horrid Henry rules the rest! Hip, 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 hooray! It's my birthday today! Hip, 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 hooray! It's my birthday today! And we're just going to say Happy into space. Yeah, like I said, I'm writing. But all right then, I'm being ghost written. What's that when it's at home? I've got a book deal and Susan's ghost writing it for me. Yeah, little old me. It's called Air Guitar for Girls. Air Guitar for Girls? Yeah, you can have a signed copy when it's out. I've interviewed lots of famous air guitarists for it. Like who? Like Fizz Wiz McTiz and Old Olive. Bet you didn't know that the Hush Hush Sisters used to be the best air guitar band in the country. Well, there you go, Henry. Lots of things you didn't know. X is for extra. See what I did there? You finally got round to understanding who's really the star of this show. Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe, that's who. Yep, that'll be little old me. Yeah, little old me. No, Susan, little old me. Not little old you, little old me. All right, all right, just doing my job. Actually, I'm glad you dropped by because I need some advice. Yeah, some advice. I'm talking to them out there, not you. Yeah, not you. Oh, I know what you're thinking. It's not like Margaret to need advice. Well, this time I do, because we're thinking big. Yeah, thinking big. OK, that worked. Take a look at this. Me neither. Not enough pink. Tree houses are so very this century. Yeah, this century. And my dad says I can either have a totally new one, which could be put up tomorrow, or I can redesign my old one, which would take six weeks and make a lot of noise and dust and dirt and generally be a real nuisance to everyone. Yeah, a real nuisance. Susan! To everyone. Oh, no prizes for guessing which one I went for. Y is for... Yes, my family. So weird. <laughs> Ooh, yes! Let's have a sing-song. That's a lovely idea, Peter. Oh, no. Let's not. Don't be horrid, Henry. 
There's a friend in Femble Valley that will run our way to see to hear him tell his stories and maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rollest mole you'll ever know. And his name is Roly Mo. With lots of friends to meet there. No, please. It's a favourite place to go. He's always there to greet you and make you feel at home. He's a mole who's living underground and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 roly mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know. There's always someone to play with. There's usually a snoot or two. Then after stories we stop for tea. Moly munches too. No matter what the weather brings, come rain, wind, snow or sun, we'll fill our days with laughter and always have such fun. Roly, 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 roly mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know. What does that even mean, the rolliest mole you'll ever know? We don't know any moles. <laughs> <laughs> Is for zero zombies. Zero zombies. I'm horrid, really horrid, and I'm going somewhere.